Hi, I'm Carla Pierce. Today we are at my studio. We are joined by Matthew Simmons, Alex Simmons, and Sage Pierce. This week we are making life masks. The process involves using plaster on the face and we make a mold of the face and then afterwards we use concrete and make a piece of art. We have been making masks of our faces all throughout history. In ancient Egyptian time, masks were made as a part of the embalming process. The Romans made them for family sculptures and as a part of funeral rites. They were made in Europe throughout the Middle Ages and we are still making them today. The beautiful thing about making a mask is you capture a moment in time, a portrait of a person. And it is a wonderful thing to do with your children because you get to keep that memory. Let's get started. Cut it up and then see, maybe you can help too. And in order to get the bandages just right, I, I don't like that because you're going to be You just lay back on the table and you just put water, put the Vaseline on, you put the water on it all previous and you just slowly layer it on. <laughs> Sage's the side of his face right here, and I try not to get it too much on the hairline. To it, it should take you about, you know, to start to finish maybe five, ten minutes at the very most. Sometimes models can get a feeling of claustrophobia or feel closed in because of the weight of the plaster on their faces. The trickiest part is putting the plaster over the mouth and the nose. Sometimes this can cause an uncomfortable reaction in the model. It is very important that the model feels happy and relaxed and they can breathe normally. As long as you can kind of do it one section at a time so you can lift you know if you have to you can lift your chin up and you can breathe through your mouth at all times you know that's that's usually and even if you can leave a nostril open or something like that so you can get some air in. Um, yeah this was my first experience and it was, it was a little claustrophobic honestly like not being able to see or move your mouth or anything it was it was weird. It it's weird it's, it's like it's really wet at first and then it starts to dry and it, it's kind of gross almost. <laughs> it's, uh, it's hard to think about the art. Like, oh my god. <laughs> it is a, a claustrophobic kind of sensation. Um, and you would, do feel the wetness around the side of your face, and, and, and it, it starts, you know, water can run down your ears and stuff like that. But um, um, the Vaseline is a tough feeling to get, to get used to. And, um, but once, once the, the material goes on your face, and it actually is important to relax, really just, just go with the flow kind of thing. And once, you, you, once you're into it, and once you're thinking about the finished product and stuff like that, I think that's where you actually start transcending from it being an icky process to a creative process. Is it heat, did it heat up? Yeah, I can start to feel it harden now. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh, good. it's good. right off. Wow. Oh. Taking it off and having it in your eyes and having the Vaseline up your nose and in your mouth like use it. Um, it's that's the worst part. 
Um, other than that, I just can't wait to paint it. We are used to seeing ourselves in two dimensions, either in a mirror or a photograph. When we take off the mask, it can be surprising and sometimes even unsettling. It is literally like being confronted by ourselves. Pulling off the mask is like a sense of relief almost and it's, you know, you really want to see what this product looks like after like, yeah. <laughs> it's remarkable. It's, you notice features of your face that you haven't really paid much attention to before. You, you know, high cheekbones, you know, larger features, like, you know, you see it all. It's, it's really, really remarkable, I suppose. Good job, oh. nicely <laughs> yeah. done. It's really quite amazing just looking at your face after. It's, it's really interesting. You just, it's kind of 3D image of your, you know, your face and your jawline and your features. It's, it's cool. It shows different values in your life. It can show different experiences in your past that you've had. If you're, you know, angry, happy, sad, you know, whatever, whatever it might be, you, it'll definitely show up in your mask. If you feel like you see something off of a movie that might be, that you think, oh, you know, that's that's so cool. I've, I've always wanted something like that. You can actually take take these materials and you can build yourself something even cooler than when you start out. Uh, yeah, it's it's really cool. It's it's a lot more fun than just taking a picture of someone. It's it's interesting. I like it. <laughs>this mask making process can be used in many different creative ways. What, what really makes it a neat process is that pretty much anybody can do it provided you have a model that's willing to sit for you and, and, and go through it and then you can actually take it as, as anybody you can make a nice mask out of it and then, and then paint it and put it up on your wall and, it, and, and you're you know, creating a nice piece for yourself. An incredible amount of things you can do with it. You can paint it, you can do whatever you can break it you can sew it back together you can you know it, it's a very it's a very um, easy going material I want to do a find a way to do a full head cast and maybe arms and legs and I don't know just you can do this it's it's a it's a resource where you have no limit no boundaries to what you can use it for it's 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 art you can you can incorporate metal objects into it you can incorporate you know, whatever whatever you feel deserves to be in your work of art. It's it's wonderful. And you can even incorporate, you know, personal memorabilia, something from your past that you really want to incorporate into a modern piece of art. It's wonderful. But you could take your whole family portrait and make four or five different faces in there and then um, do color pieces or with something with um, um, fall patterns or leaves or things like that. I think it would be a real nice way for families to capture their whole, the essence of their family at that one time. Making art together as a family can create strong memories and bonds that last a lifetime. I, th I think for any parent, it's neat to capture your kids through time. It really is, and, and that's why, like, like I've got some from you know Jonathan that are uh, when he was four years old, or Alex now when he was eight years old, and you can see that transition. It would actually be nice to capture one every year, and then you could line them all up and see your child actually growing, and then their facial features changing. So I think it's just a really creative and uh, very rewarding experience for parents to actually do that with their kids. I think it was um, um, a time in our lives where we were trying to capture uh, some different feelings we were going through with uh, uh, Alex at that time was, was planning on kind of leaving the house and, 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 and making his own 
you know, uh, path in life. And uh, also now that he's a young adult, I wanted to capture him in, in more of a, um, I don't know, it was, it's an interesting piece. It's kind of got the fingers coming up and grabbing his face and pulling him down into the water, but it was uh, more, I think, to do with, with hanging on to him or clinging to him somehow or whatever. But it, it is something that, yeah, you can, you can hang up on the wall and look at it and say, that's, that's really neat to, to see his face in time and, and um, uh, just that period of your life that you've, you've captured. You know, like you've got some activities with your child where you might be working on your motorbike or a car, and like you say, working on uh, motors or things like that. This is, is more, I think, getting into the creativity side of things and um, more kind of a heartfelt piece with your child or with your, you know, um, uh, son, daughter, wife, whatever it is. So, so it's more, of, more personal to them, more personal for yourselves. Certainly is a good bonding piece for, for kids and for, for parents to experience together. Creating artwork doesn't necessarily have to be a solitary experience. It is something that can be shared with friends and family. Creating portraits of each other with plaster and mask making techniques often shares an intimate look at the individual. These portraits, three-dimensional, can hang on our walls, in our studios, and in our gardens. They are great reminders of our connection with ourselves and our humanity. Thanks for watching. I'm Carla Pierce. The wink and the gun.